Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So welcome to your readings for February 2019. I want to wish all of my Aquarians out there a very happy birthday. We are officially in Aquarius season as far as Western astrology is concerned. Uh, I also want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day, maybe, if you're doing anything, if you're celebrating. I hope you have a great one. And if you're not such a fan, then forget I even said that, right? Right? <laughs> so these are general readings, okay? Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and send me an email, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All of the readings that I offer are listed in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out and read through those. See if you, whichever one you would like and then shoot me an email. If you can't decide, then still email me and we can discuss the situation a little bit and I will help you pick out the best reading to move forward with, yeah? We are using the Golden Universal Tarot for the readings with the Oracle of the uh, Unicorns, hee hee hee, for a little bit of Oracle guidance, yeah? Um, uh, just one thing that I want to mention about the readings. I recommend that people watch the uh, the, the Leo reading and the Capricorn reading. Leo, because we just had that super blood moon eclipse on the 20th of sep uh, September, no, January, excuse me. I don't know why I said September, but um, the 20th of January. And depending on like, say if Leo was a, is, is a big thing in your chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus or whatever, or depending on what house Leo is in for you, you could get some good insight as to what may have happened uh, around or what may be shifting around that full moon that we had, the super blood moon eclipse. The Capricorn video, I also recommend that people watch, uh, re regardless if you have Capricorn in a major placement, as a major placement like Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You, with that one, you may also want to look into where Capricorn may be, what house it may be in in your chart. For some reason, there was just a lot of major collective energy that was coming through, at least in the very beginning of that reading. So I recommend that maybe if you're interested, if, there, if that's piqued your interest, if you resonate with that a little bit, to go ahead and watch that reading, yeah? If you are in the New York City metro area, come through and see me every Friday at Om Shanti Bookshop. I am there doing in-person readings from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The link to their website is in the description box below. Go ahead and check their, uh, check their website out. You can give them a call and schedule a reading in advance with me or any of the other fantastic readers there. We have astrologers, palm readers, tarot and oracle card readers like myself, and we're all really good at what we do. <laughs> yeah. They also have a really excellent crystal selection, a card selection between tarot and oracle cards. They do have a nice book selection, uh, essential oils, incense, sage, palo santo, anything that you might want. I'm pretty sure Om Shanti has it. Yes. And they do ship locally or oh, well, remotely. They do ship their, their, um, uh, uh, they can ship things. <laughs> Go ahead and give them a call. If you like, you can make it a, an order over the phone or you can do it online. Yes. And finally, I am on Instagram and um, Facebook. You can go ahead and follow me there. The links are in the description box below. Okay. So I think that's it. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get to it, guys. Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for February 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get straight into it, shall we? Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for February 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, let's get into it. Let's see what we've got for you. Um, so Taurus, your energy is feeling a little bit complacent a little, which is kind of normal for a Tauren. Um, if not, just maybe a little tired, exhaustion. You know, there's, uh, this could be a lot of, could have been doing a lot of healing, a lot of purging from the past. Um, this, full moon that we had in Leo on the 20th of January 
um, could be could have been a pretty rough one for you potentially if you have Leo in your chart as in like a major placement or depending depending on where Leo is in your chart you know this could be this full moon could have really affected you um, but to be quite honest it's been affecting a lot of us it's been it's a major transformation for all of us um, but Taurus I just feel like you're not really in any sort of energies of really making too big of a move right now um, you still might be working on recuperating from the holiday season that that is entirely possible or uh, seasonal seasonal depression or just a seasonal downswing could really be affecting you right now, which none of that is bad. And honestly, all I want to say and what the universe really wants to say to you about it is go with the flow, honor yourself. If you need to take some time to just rest and recuperate and just be, you know, just be that bull just sitting in the grass, you know, and underneath the, uh, and basking in the sunlight and just chilling out, do it. It, there's really nothing wrong with it all right Taurus I'm gonna give you one more shuffle Taurus Sun Moon rising in Venus and then I'm gonna cut the deck and we'll get into it yeah Boop. all righty Taurus overall energy you got okay well here you are showing right up for your reading here the Hierophant all right so some of you may be going through um, some learning. Hold on, guys. I just want to take off my hoodie. I'm a little warm here. Some of you are going through a, a, a deep learning process, okay? Um, and this could be why, you know, your energy is feeling um, a little... A li the words that are coming to me are stuck or stagnant, but that's not really how I want to describe it. However, that's what spirit is saying. You might feel a little bit stuck. For some of you, there are some lessons that you're needing to learn, and you might be a little stubborn with it, um, not really wanting to face it, not really wanting to learn, not really wanting to take on the challenge and make some sort of change. Taurus is a fixed sign, all right? So um, as, like, just like any fixed sign, change is not your forte. And with this full moon that we had, again, on January 20th, um, you know, it's in Leo and Leo is a fixed sign. So many, uh, all of the fixed signs are probably going to have a little bit of trouble with this. And what I feel like is this full, this last full moon that we had, um, it is bringing some things to light for you that you may have been resisting to look at for some time. Okay. Ooh. And here you are again, potentially now the, this, we have the Empress here. All right. Um, the Empress can represent Taurus, can also represent uh, Aries. Um, but I do, th I do see this as your energy, um, Taurus. Being an Earth sign, you know, being one of the, the most earthly, down-to-earth of the Earth signs. Um, Taurus being the bull, you know, a, a bull is an animal. So um, being really connected to Mother Earth and Mother Nature, that's what I'm seeing coming through here for you. There is abundance here. There's unconditional love. Um, it, even though you might be going through a little bit of a, a rough period and something that you're learning or moving through, changing, expanding through, you still have the abundance and the unconditional love of the universe and of the, of the, uh, the universal mother, okay? You also have the Four of Swords. Look at that. Resting, healing, taking a nap, taking a break, maybe being in timeout, maybe putting your own self in timeout. But um, I like to say, and some other readers do like to say, that the Four of Swords is very much like the Hanged Man energy. It's like the minor arcana version of the Hanged Man. So just taking a break, removing yourself from situations and to meditate and to see things from a different perspective. And you have the Eight of Swords. All right, so that's making a lot of sense. So what the Eight of Swords is speaking to is this somewhat, I guess you can call it a stubbornness to really move forward, um, to face something, to learn something, to grow. Okay, now these, keep in mind, this is a general reading, um, so take it as it resonates. This either could be you, Taurus, or it could be someone else around you, okay? But we are talking mostly to you guys right now. Um, this Eight of Swords energy is the mental prison, all right? And I'm really seeing this as the mental state that you've been in or that you're trying to break out of um, that has been, of a, uh, has been detrimental to you. It does, it's interesting because often the Eight of Swords does feel or seem come across as an energy of um, being trapped and it doesn't feel good, it's not a good thing. It can be fears, 
um, your mind running amok potentially. But here, this is talking about complacency and, um, you know, having accepted certain things and not really being one to change too much. So you don't really want to change it. You're not really making any efforts to change it. But ultimately, it's holding you back. OK, regardless of whether this is painful for you or not or, or, or tumultuous for you or not, um, a cage is a cage and none of us are meant to be caged. We are here to expand and to grow, to learn and to move forward. But you can't do that if you're in a cage, right? Okay, so let's get into this here. Uh, the first row is going to be the energies going into February, potentially current energies around you. The second row is going to be uh, upcoming energies later on in the month. First set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, we have... Ah, here you are again, the king of pentacles. But this is an energy of being, someone being very fixed, um, set in their ways, set in stone, not really looking to change things, not really looking to do anything else. Some of you may be very much focused on your finances. Um, some of you might have a job situation that you're needing to remove yourself from or you're needing to change. Some of you may be actively looking to make this change. Um, now, for those of you that are resonating with that, the Eight of Swords is could could be talking about that prison or um, the 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 space that you're in that is no longer beneficial that you're trying to break out of. The beauty of the Eight of Swords is you have the ability to break yourself out. You just gotta shimmy over. You just gotta shimmy over to these swords around you and cut cut yourself free from the ropes, free enough so that you could free your hands, remove that blindfold, okay, and get out of the state that you're in. King of Pentacles is coupled with, ah, look at that, the Ten of Swords. Now, some of you, some of you actively are coming to the very end of a situation uh, with a Tauren or with a masculine, or, or, I'm sorry, uh, maybe a masculine figure, maybe an actual man in gender or someone that embodies the divine masculine or just masculine energies, okay? This could be a marriage, there could be, a, a, if it's not a marriage, it's, it could be something that is a relationship that was deep in commitment. Um, but someone's reached the end of their rope here. The, the, the worst is behind them. This could have been a really um, painful situation to be in. Uh, and if this is what you're resonating with, it's just, it's been a long time coming. Okay? But someone is done. This is either with a job situation a financial situation um a relationship a marriage a partnership uh and, and for some of you you're in this four of swords this restful state because you're trying to get a deeper understanding of the situation you might be getting some downloads from your higher self or from the universe um, or you might just be trying to save up your strength to really bring the situation to completion. But I, we see, I, as you can see here, we have that completion with the Ten of Swords. I really do feel like it could be the, to I, the, the strongest thing I'm feeling right now is that this is the Tauren. Being, who, it, being um, well manifested, knowing who they are, um, very much an earthly figure who is very much done with something, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So working, to, working, working hard to move forward, potentially, putting the hard work into something or needing to put work into something. Now, some of you could be drowning yourself in work here, uh, especially if you come to the end of a situation and you know there's no further to go. You know you have to remove yourself from the situation. But then again, you have you this Eight of Swords energy here where you're in this mental prison and this person is blindfolded in this card. So uh, that could be speaking to that stubborn aspect of refusing to see something as it truly is or refusing to, to open your eyes to look for a way out. Eight of Pentacles is coupled with, yeah, the High Priestess. Now you have the counterparts here between the Hierophant and the High Priestess. So i really do think there is a level of avoidance here in on some level for someone um drowning yourself in your work in order to distract you <clears throat> from the truth uh now for some of you for some of you who uh, whether you're in a relationship or not this either could be you or this could be that you're someone that you're connected with 
they are making some changes. They are doing some work behind the scenes. And potentially they're working very hard with the universe, um, you know, getting some downloads, some secrets are being revealed to them that are causing them to do this work, to make these changes. There is an energy of working on the self here, but it would be happening in secrecy and or it's happening due to some secrets being revealed by the higher self, says spirit, okay? Your challenge in your current energy, Taurus, you have the page of pentacles, starting anew, coming to a new level, um, coming to a new vibratory rate, says spirit. Um, uh, for others of you, this the challenge here is being diligent, being honest, being hardworking, um, being committed to something, starting over even, having to start over, needing to start over um, in the sense of because you have some situations that have come to completion here. So needing to start over um, because the situation has done. And I don't, the universe is saying, don't feel like you failed. It really isn't like that. It's more a, a matter of something has come to an end and now you're needing to move on to the next thing. And you have to start somewhere when you come to a new reality. Um, and there are some things, like I said in the beginning of the reading, there are some things that you're probably learning or becoming aware of. And so you're going to have to start from a new position with that knowledge, okay? Page of Pentacles is coupled with the Six of Cups. Mm, could be talking about a soulmate here. For some of you that are in a relationship, in a marriage, or in a long-standing committed relationship, there is the challenge here is to reconcile and to start over in some way. I do feel like there are some people that I'm channeling for here, whether this is you, Taurus, or this is someone that you're connected to that has gotten some really serious revelations of late and are putting some destructive tendencies, toxic tendencies, toxic situations as in like relationships and whatnot that is coming to an end and they're really working on doing their inner work or changing in some way but it's happening behind the scenes it's happening in secret and what the high priestess is saying here is that this is not necessarily something that you the other person needs to be aware of because potentially that your awareness of it could um add some sort of energetic influence into there and that could mess things up. This person needs to do their work on their own. Okay. There could be, there's definitely an energy of, for some of you, there's an energy of breaking free from the status quo, which is represented by the Hierophant here. And the challenge is um, <laughs> reconnecting or reconciling. And I feel like that's what somebody really is working on here, reconciling or reconnecting or acquiring some sort of maturity in order to reconcile or reconnect. The, the page of pentacles is to me, in my opinion, is the most mature of the pages. It has to be, okay? Um, that, that, because the earth suit dictates that calls for that okay there is a level of maturity honesty and commitment and follow through that is necessary if you're going to do anything with the earthly energies because earthly energies don't move very quickly they're the slowest moving energies of the whole deck okay of the whole of all four of the elements doesn't mean they don't move it's just it's slower so you have to really be committed to the situation and I really do feel like there is a, a level of maturity here that is for some of you that is being adopted in order to heal to reconcile and to grow okay final message for your sur current surrounding energies moving into February Taurus you have the moon secrecy I'm hearing lies deceit okay some of that could be coming to light um, but like I said, uh, with the high priestess here, there are things, things are not as they seem. There are things that are happening underneath the surface that you or the other person does not know about. This could also be talking about intuition. Trust your intuition. 
if you're being called to. Again, also, this is talking about, this could potentially be talking about that full moon we had on January 20th. Okay? That is affecting all of us in some way, whether you really are, are conscious of it or not. And in some, for some of us, it's, it's affecting us in um, stronger ways than others. The moon is coupled with Whoa, the emperor. There is a lot of counterpart energy here going on, you guys, between the emperor and the empress and the hierophant and the high priestess. Um, this is a balance between masculine and feminine energy, okay? Uh, someone is really taking control of their lives behind the scenes. Also, someone is facing themselves, okay? Either you... This could be you, Taurus, but also the Emperor is officially is Aries energy, does speak to Aries. So you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, but the, the Emperor also is the master of their own domain. And for some people, I really feel like their own twisted masculinity or if they've been in like overly controlling um, just the Emperor in like a, a, a negatively aspected sense, I feel like for some of you, their, their, their twisted narcissistic or twisted masculine ways are being revealed to them. This might not be something that everyone else is seeing, but I do feel like for some of you, there's a level of understanding their own, like understanding yourself and understanding how uh, just seeing the truth of their actions, okay? And needing to make a change from that. And this is definitely a situation in which once you see it, you can't unsee it. Once you're aware of it, you can't become unaware of it. Now, some people, what this is also saying is that some there are some individuals out there who are hiding from this truth because they are very much aware of once they are once they know, they can't unknow. And then for them to continue with those actions, that would be even worse. Because you're aware of the actions, you're aware of the reality, the circumstances, and you're still continuing to perpetuate it. I mean, that just, just, that's just going to generate even more negative karma, okay? So in the upcoming energies for the month of February, first set of surrounding energies, you have the Nine of Cups. This could be wish fulfillment, but the first thing I heard and felt was that there's some sort of drowning of sorrows here. Trying to numb the pain in some way. But there is a potential for wish fulfillment here, even if it's just like monetarily, you know, uh, little things here or there. But the biggest thing that I was getting is the, you know, drowning your sorrows or self-medicating in some way. Nine of Cups is coupled with the Two of Pentacles. Yeah. So there is an energy of trying to maintain the balance, just trying to keep afloat for some of you. Um, this full moon that we had on the 20th of January it uh, it was a transformation, and we have we are it, through it. We crossed into a new paradigm, and for some time, I have been channeling that. You know, we've been in between realities, in between worlds, and for some of you, that's what I'm getting here. You're still trying to juggle the past and the future, um, while I'm trying to maintain some sort of balance. You know, juggling the past and the future in the sense of leaving the past behind you, <clears throat> but still not quite in the new reality yet or, 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 or whatnot, or maybe even feeling like you're not in the new reality yet. Um, but either way, there is a level of trying to cope here. This could be you, Taurus. Also could be someone that you're connected with. Second set of surrounding energies for the upcoming energies of February, you have the Six of Pentacles. But what I'm, here, what I'm getting here is learning uh, rec reciprocity. There could be some really hard lessons in reciprocity for someone around. Um, but I'm also seeing there's a reality or a desire to want to give as much as you receive and wanting to receive as much as you give. And that could be part of this whole juggling act. Um, there could be some people around you that you're becoming aware are not as giving as you would hope. Um, and maybe that you've been over giving to these people um, and you're needing to pull away from that. But it may not be that easy. It may not be so easy as just saying just boop, cut and run. Um, you might have to do some work 
And that could be another example of being in between the past and the future. The future being around people or associated with people that are balanced recipro uh, in reciprocity or reciproc reciprocally and still having to deal with people from the past um, that are not, that are somewhat of an energetic vampire, okay? Six of Pentacles is coupled with, yeah, the Nine of Swords. There are, so, so for some of you I'm picking up, either you Taurus or the person you're connected with, they're being aware of how much they just have not given back. How much they've taken and taken and taken and how that was a detriment to the relationship. And for some, there is an energy of not feeling like you would ever be able to give back what you have received. And so that's causing even more anxiety. And that could very well be what this person is not trying to face right now with the Eight of Swords. You have the Eight, the Nine, and the Ten so far, guys. Okay? But there is an ending coming to that, potentially, because Nines are a card of endings. I just feel like there's a lot of realization happening for either you, Taurus, or someone else that you're associated with. And if it's for you, Taurus, take the opportunity to set things straight. If there's something in your life that you're becoming aware of, a reality, an action, a business, a relationship, a partnership, whatever. If there is something that you're becoming aware of in your life that is not serving you, that you don't want to be involved with anymore, that you don't want to, like an action or a... <clears throat> a behavior that you don't want to exhibit anymore, take the time to heal it and release it, okay? Your challenge in the upcoming energies, you've got judgment. Look at that, answering that call. Resurrection, rebirth, potentially even reconciliation. But I see this more as if it does mean reconciliation, it means just releasing yourself from the past, from the karma of the past, from the karma of the past situation, forgiving that situation, not necessarily for the sake of the other person, but more for yourself so that you can be lighter, you can release yourself from the lower vibrational heavy energies and elevate, rise, ascend move up to a new level, okay? That is your challenge moving forward. So if there is any sort of forgiveness that, that needs to happen, either for yourself, and this could be forgiveness for yourself, for giving too much and not, uh, uh, not being in the position or allowing yourself to be in the position or believing that you are should be in a position to receive or forgiving the other person for doing you wrong, this, that, whatever. Take the time to heal and forgive because that's literally the only way you are going to be free of any sort of baggage or burden to ascend or to move forward to finally step into this new reality and having and stop having to juggle between the two okay because i really do feel like and this is not just for you taurus this is all around and this is something that i've been channeling for some time like for like the past few weeks um, in the sense of it's like we're in we're, we have one foot in the future, but still one foot in the past and It's time to let that go, right? Judgment is coupled with the seven of cups But you see there's so much illusion around you. There's so many options. There's so many what-ifs um, There's probably a bit of emotional chaos um, in order to really answer this call, like I said, you're going to have to forgive and you're going to have to let go of all of these different options or all of this different stuff that's swirling around you right now, okay? Also, in this challenge, for some of you, this this call that the universe is putting out that is that they're asking you to answer is pulling up all of these different things, um, all these different emotions, memories, circumstances, relationships that need to be released, need to be viewed for what they are and reconciliation needs to happen. Also, the energies of judgment here are helping you reconcile all of this, all right? So use that to your advantage. Your closing message or potential outcome for the, few, for the upcoming energies for February, you have the King of Wands. This could be you, Taurus. Um, this could be a Leo. Um, you could have Leo in your chart, or this could be another fire sign, Aries or Sagittarius. You could be dealing with one of these people. Some of you could be connecting with a, a fire sign or someone that's very, very passionate 
uh, very understanding I'm hearing for some of you, um, but is very fo this is someone that's very focused on what they want to achieve. I do see this energy, this fiery King of Wands energy being at your disposal, Leo, to help you face what's going on here. Because if you guys can see the way this is set on the table, this, this King of Wands is staring straight at this Seven of Cups. And the King of Wands, you could say any of the Wands energies could bring illumination as they represent fire. Fire puts off, uh, uh, gives off light, which illuminates, right? Um, but I'm seeing the strength and the determination to, to, to fix what needs to be fixed, heal what needs to be healed. King of Wands is coupled with the Page of Cups. Could be a Pisces or maybe another water sign, Cancer or Scorpio. But the Page of Cups is a reconciliatory energy, potentially. It's also the dreamer. I do see that for some of you, like I said, you could be meeting or coming into uh, 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 crossing paths with a fire sign. It could be your divine masculine if you're a twin flame. Um, because I do see the king and queen of wands as a depiction of the divine masculine and divine feminine in the, the, the minor arcana. This could be someone having the passion, the fire, the balls even to reconcile, to say, hey, I'm sorry, um, to say, hey, can we try this again? Um, and if that's the case, you know, this is not something that's happening on a whim. With the King of Wands energy, I'm really feeling like this is something they've been stewing over. And this is something potentially that they've been stewing over. This is someone that they've just, this is something that they, they have a great a deal of passion for um, and yeah, you could say they have the balls to come back around and try and reconcile, but that, I'm going to be quite honest, instead of looking at it that way, like how dare you, like you've got some, you've got some serious cojones to come back here and try and talk to me. It's like, well, wait a second. They actually recognize that there's some sort of reconciliation that is at hand here and they're actually taking the steps to do it. That's... I mean, that deserves a bit of respect right there, regardless of what they may have done. Now, understand that the King of Wands energy can go one of two ways. It can be really fiery and really passionate and very honest, sincere and serious, or it could be a uh, egotistical, um, you know, narcissistic, uh, self-centered energy. All right, now, so be careful. Use your intuition here. When it comes to um, if somebody were to come back and want to reconcile with you, you know, don't just open the floodgates right away. You know, they have to prove themselves. And if they really are in this King of Wands energy, if they're really that passionate, if they really put the time and the effort into figuring things out and now coming back around to start over, then allow them to use that energy and to prove to you that they've changed. Okay. Use your intuition. And it's not like they're coming forward with a Knight of Cups energy. No, they're coming forward with the page, which is, you know, the youngest of the core cards. But hey, baby steps, right? Now, we really could be talking twin flames here because we have the emperor and the empress. All right. Um, and for those of you that are resonating with the twin flame situation, there is some learning and some healing here that is represented or that is uh, influenced by the divine feminine energies. Now, you don't have to resonate with the twin flame situation to resonate with that because the divine feminine energetically is on the rise and that's affecting everyone, whether you resonate with the twin flame situation or not, okay? But for twin flame specifically, we could be talking about a divine masculine returning to reconcile, all right? So, Taurus, let's get into your... Oracle guidance here for the month of February. All right, spirit. Best message, please, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February. Thank you so much, spirit. Look at that, Taurus. Abundance. Underneath the deck, you have Sanctuary. Take time out from the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate or go on a retreat. And look at what we have here. The Four of Swords, which talks about taking a break, uh, removing yourself from the battle, removing yourself from society for a while. Uh, meditating. Yes. All in service of getting or re achieving a new perspective. Abundance. 
Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. <clears throat> Excuse me, is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. So there you have it, Taurus. That's beautiful. So really take advantage. Believe that you are, and, and also you have abundance here with the Empress. Okay? So either for you, Taurus, or the, the, or the cross watcher, there is an abundance of energy here. You just have to not only believe that you are worthy of this abundance, because regardless of who you are, where you've been in life, what you've done in life, everyone is worthy of having or, or experiencing, benefiting from the abundance of the universe. But also what you need to do is stay in your integrity and be honest and, 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 and um, um, authentic and stay in the flow of positive karma when it comes to abundance. Do not abuse this, all right? Because if you do, there will be, there will be repercussions. And that's not even, I'm not even trying to, to, to I'm, it's not like it's, I'm putting out this crazy warning. I'm not trying to like scare anybody. That's literally just how it works, all right? You put, you get back what you put out. And I feel like there are some out there that are really learning this message right now or learning that lesson right now. All right, Taurus, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.